Now we've got a data of 30 uh, year nine uh, boys and girls, and we have the data about the height. So these are the 30 boys and uh, the 30 girls. And we start with the question, are boys taller than girls? Now, now to calculate, uh, to find, to answer that question, whether boys are taller than girls, we need to first calculate the stats. We want to calculate mean, we want to calculate median, we want to find the range, okay. And range, I hope you know, is the highest minus the lowest value. So it is the highest value, take away the lowest value. So we're going to use Excel to calculate this, and we're also going to draw the dot plot. So in one of my previous videos, I explained how to draw the dot plot, but I think I made a mistake there. So I want to correct that mistake. So these are the, these are what we're going to do. We'll first calculate, these are called the stats. These are the stats. Okay, so from the stats and graph, so we want to, these are the stats and this is the graph. So from that we want to make up or uh, decide whether boys are taller than girls or girls are taller than boys or whether there is no difference between the height of boys and girls. So you can end up with three possible answers. Okay, now whatever you answer, you have to justify with respect to your uh, stats and your graph. So this is the spreadsheet. So this is from 1 to 30 you got boys and girls. So to draw the dot plot, Excel doesn't have the option of dot plot. Excel does have a scatter graph. So I'll show you how you can trick Excel from scatter graph to draw the dot plot. So you need to remember this command. So you, in this cell that is D2, you start with an equal if. This is an if then all formula. So bracket. Uh, okay, sorry. You have to start the first cell with one. And in the second cell, that is D3, you start with equal if. If this cell, which is D, sorry, C3, is equal to C2, comma, then we are telling the Excel to go D2 plus 1, or the second bracket, sorry, second comma means or 1, or start with, start with 1, and close the bracket. Okay, so that just that you can see the formula. Okay, so this is the formula, and then you enter. So this one tells you that 150 is for the first time. And you highlight, and once you get the plus sign like this, you double click, and Excel will give you all the other numbers. So now what are these numbers meaning? So 164 is for one, two, three, four times. 167 you have, one, two, three, four times, and so on. So this is, from this we're going to draw the dot plot. So let's do the same thing for girls. So let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see the formula. Okay, so equal, sorry, start with one, equal if, bracket, this is J3, equal to the previous one, which is J2 comma, this is K1, K2, sorry, K, this is K3, yeah, this is K3, okay, I think I, we are making a mistake here, you have to start with, from 1, so start, oops, so, so this is, cancel this, you have to start from 1, okay, that is K1, also this is K2, enter 1, and in K3, you add the formula, so equal if bracket this, that is J3 equal to J2 comma, then K2 plus 1 comma 1, close the bracket. Enter, and again you have the catch the tail, when you get the plus sign, this is the tail, and you double click will give you all the other numbers. So what does it mean again? 154, this is the first time, this is the second time and third time. So first let us draw 
So let me make this smaller so that you can. Okay, so here, highlight the height, that is column C and column D. Highlight the whole thing. Uh, go to Enter, press on the top ribbon, press Enter, and you go to Scatter Graph. Okay, so this is a scatter graph, so click on that and click on the top one. So it will tell you the scatter graph is here. Okay, so let me drag this a bit down. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to drag the whole thing. First highlight it and drag it down like this so that you can see. Let us drag it down. Okay, so I'll delete this. And I also don't want the axis. So, and dot plot, we don't draw the x y axis. So, click on that and delete it. Okay. So, this is you don't need the grid line. So, also delete the grid line. Okay. So, yeah. So, now we need to format the axis. The lowest for boys is 147, and the highest is 181. So, Click on the axis, format axis. I'll go from fixed 145 to 185. To 185 at a step of 5. That will be OK and close. And here we have the dot plot for boys. OK, so if you want to make this, I think this is enough. 145 to okay so we want to go into step of two again right click format axis and change this to two instead of five make it two and see what happens okay so you can make this bigger slightly bigger so this is much better okay so now i'll change the title it is the dot plot of the height of year nine boys in centimeter okay and this is the dot plot and highlight the graph layout axis title horizontal bill title below the axis so this is the height measured in centimeter so this is enough so this is the dot plot for boys so i'm going to uh, i want to copy this and i want to minimize minimize it i want to open a word document okay open a word document and going to paste it there so right click and paste it so this is the uh, dot plot for boys okay same thing you can do for girls. Uh, okay, where were we? I think this is what, so I'll cancel it. Same thing for girls, highlight. If you highlight the whole thing and insert uh, scatter graph, click on that. So you've got it. So yeah, let me drag this a bit down. Okay, so this is the dot plot of the height of girls in of year nine of year nine in centimeters. That's the title. Okay, and I don't want this, delete it. Okay, so you can make the font smaller, highlight it, go to home, make it say 14 or uh, make it small smaller so this is the title i don't want the axis delete it i don't want the gird lines okay sorry you had to highlight the gird line so to delete it and i want to change the scale from 145 to 185 so you have the same scale for boys and girls so this is from 145 to 185 scale of fixed or scale of two and close it and yeah that's fine 
I want to make this slightly bigger so it looks better. Yeah, that's fine. And I need to have a title. So go to layout, axis title, horizontal. So this is the height in height measured measured in centimeter. Okay, so that's fine. So this is for girls. So right click, uh, right click, cut, and underneath it, paste it. So this is to make it a bit bigger. So uh, this is a dot plot for boys and girls. So this will, from this dot plot, uh, you can make many comparison. Okay, so if you look at the clusters, okay, so let's look at the clusters here. So here, yeah, the boys, uh, if you look at, suppose let me show you, so let me write with a pen. Now see, if you look at this cluster, so this is a cluster, okay and this is also a cluster you can call this a cluster these two are clusters this seems to be an outlier okay a student with height uh, 181 seems to be an outlier or extreme value these are also seeming to be extreme value or outlier so these are also extreme values so you have a cluster here, so these two are, this and this are clusters. So you can say the boys, there's a cluster of boys between 160, so this is 160 and 172. So you can say this is between 160, most of the students are between 160 and 172. Okay, now what about girls? So if you look at the girls, there is a similar, so this is, there is, uh, this is a small cluster, you've got two students here between 173 and 175. So this is a cluster, this is a cluster, this is a big cluster and this is the second cluster. So this first cluster is between 153 and 158. So this is between 153 and 158. Whereas here, this is between 160, this is between 160 and 170. Okay, so there is a cluster between 160 and 170 for girls and for boys. This is this cluster is between the, the total of these two clusters is between 160 and 172. So as such, there is not, not a much or great difference between the boys, heights of boys and girls. So now let us calculate the mean, uh, let me go open this document, okay. So let's calculate the mean of boys and girls, mean, median, and uh, range for boys and girls. So I'll do only for boys, and you can do it for girls. So this is say, I'll do a title, so this is mean, median, highest value, highest value, the lowest value, and the range, okay. Range you can directly do from highest to the lowest. So, so here let me do the title for boys. So this column is for boys, and this is for girls. It's pretty easy in Excel. So in for at mean, you go equal, average. You have to type in the right word, average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, bracket, sorry, open bracket. And then you click on that, and you can do control shift down arrow. It will highlight the whole thing. Control shift down arrow and close the bracket enter That's 167.3 for median You go equal 
median bracket go to the first value control shift down arrow okay and close the bracket enter so mean and median are almost the same okay there is no so from this you can say there are no outliers this seems when median and mean and median are equal almost equal you can say there seems to be no outlier okay so the highest value is this is your highest value enter and equal to the lowest value click on that enter and equal to range is the highest minus the lowest enter same same way with girls equal average bracket go to the first value for girls control shift down arrow close the bracket that's 160 points so yeah boys the mean of boys is 7.3 centimeters more than girls if you want to decrease the decimal point so and for median the same thing equal median bracket go to the top value control shift down down arrow close the bracket enter so median mean and median are again almost the same the highest value is this is your highest value enter equal lowest value is this enter and range is highest this is your highest minus your lowest enter so these are the statistics for boys and girls and so you can also highlight it uh, copy and paste it on word so that you have all the uh, home go down and paste it so this is for the boys and girls and now you can talk about uh, what conclusion can you make whether boys are taller than girls based on these stats and uh, graph, graph.